Russell Crowe's one hell of an actor. Yeah, he is. Like a real heavyweight. Are you not entertained? Real banger. Yeah. Hall of Famer. Yeah. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe first team. Is he a defenseman or a forward? Who? Russell Crowe. I don't know. It feels like a lockdown defenseman, doesn't he? Yeah, kind of. Know. Yeah, he right. He yeah. feels like a like a like a, a Lidstrom. Right. Somebody big like that, Victor Hedman. Yeah, maybe a Hedman. <clears throat> uh, sorry. Uh, just uh, quickly. Are we uh, on the show here? Get a mic check here. One, two, one, two, episode 26. Quick shift. Quick shift pod. I got no one. You serious? Really? 26? May, may I go? Sure. Go ahead. Matin Saint Louis. All right. It's a no brainer. Good. Keep it. University of Vermont. Keep it. Uh, uh, in honor of the uh, New Jersey Devils, I'll go with uh, Patrick Elias. Ooh, big time player plays big time games. Are you not going to give us one? Uh, you took mine. Peter Stasny, Thomas Vanek, Thomas Vanek. All right, I believe he's. That was my backup in case one of you guys. Had Thomas Vanek, I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you for the assist. Uh, goodbye. The future sold out. There's no use screaming. Who thought we'd ever get this far? Tonight, your faith has come down to money and a TV. That is, Our Lady Peace is Anybody Home in honor of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, and I'm not going to refer to this game as a C game for the Florida Panthers. What does that mean? Yeah. What's uh, a C game? Uh, a C game would be if you put somebody in like a, uh, they call it a a clinch. Clinch day? Ooh. Don't say that fucking word. I can't believe you got you guys asked me a C? Yes. Oh yeah, I didn't what know. What day I, I is know. it? I thought it was some. I thought it was. It also could have been some. Like I don't know. A lot, understand a lot of things that you guys are saying sometimes. That's I pretend true. like I do. I played through. I don't know the yeah. C, C. Who knows? That could have been uh, code for something. The you hockey players, right? <laughs> You're referring to Scotty. I thought a, you guys were it was something that you guys were in on. I didn't want to lose the momentum. Yeah, well, yeah. well, he's kind of hijacked the language. I mean, technically, he's hijacked not... the language. I am the language. Oh, okay, yes. right. Well, you're the new age. Uh, the the new age kids they talk a little different. No, nah, not really. They do. I, I, your quote was okay. I actually pulled the quote. Can I tell you my quote? I would. <laughs> yeah. I would love you. Yeah. We're going head to head with quotes. Yeah, yeah. You, I have you, no quote. You, you can decide. Sure. <clears throat> when I find myself in times of trouble. Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom. Let it be. That's for Leafs fans. That's <laughs> a pretty be? good fucking quote. This is the way? Hey, let it be, man. It, is, it, it is what it is. You guys are here now. Whatever happens, happens. Pressure's off. Pressure's off. Let it fly. Loose. Yep. They're going to do end up doing that, right? That's what's going to happen. Oh, They're going to win a couple. <laughs> They're going to win a couple oh. games and then lose in six I or mean, seven. I mean, honestly, I'm kind of kind of pulling for the Leafs now because <clears> then Avery would have to have the homeless guy live with him. Well, yeah, that's, that's content. Great. And maybe. by the way, uh, the 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 and he's also gonna have to get on a side eventually. He right. can't flip flop. Yeah, I'm, I'm a I'm a you gotta pull I'm flipping. Trigger. I'm flopping. I yep. mean, my heart is in in the great state of Florida as of today. Uh, but listen, tomorrow's I, another day. Tomorrow's <laughs> another day. Uh, I I would like to start, if I may. I've had some more movement on the uh, New York Rangers head coaching job. Uh, Scotty asked me yesterday about my staff. Mm -hmm. uh, so Ryan Whitney has committed to um, uh, coach the defenseman, be the defensive coach for the New York Rangers. Wow. He has asked me to also hire Chris Simon. Okay. He said, big chief. Big br chief. Bring in big chief. <laughs> Scary dude. Just for a little bit of muscle. He can handle business, that's for sure. And I'm going to round out uh, my front-facing staff with uh, Ryan Hallwig, who actually big chief almost killed in Long Is that Island. the guy that he did that to? Yeah, yeah. that was vicious. Woo. Yeah. All so, right. So, so, uh, but just a couple of things. Uh, Wit, we have agreed to terms. Uh, he's only going to be needed for five. He's got a five-hour cap per day. Okay. So game days, he might stretch that a little bit. He can get a lot done in five hours. I agree. Yeah. You know, assistant coaches, they work. People don't understand. They work like twelve-hour days. Mm -hmm. 
There's nothing you need to be doing for 12 hours as an assistant coach or a head coach. Okay. So I gave Wit the five hour cap. All right. He's going to get a million dollar salary. We're all going to get a million, okay, because some of these head coaches make four or five million in one coach. And then they fire them and they have to pay them for eight years. So we're all going to get a million. Uh, me and Wit are going to. Team friendly deal. Yeah, very much. Hometown deal. Me and Wit are going to get a $250,000 uh, surplus. What do they call it when you. Signing bonuses? No, for, for it's like our kitty pack. You know, we can just hit it. Like our, our perk pack. Oh, your perk package. My perk package. <laughs> All right. By the way, you know, that's a big part of a contract. Yeah, I got to say, I'm a little worried you're concerned about the financials instead of like the, what kind of structure you're putting in place on your team. Oh, we've already, the, we've already had those conversations. Oh, you have? Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah. So that's the idea is you guys are going to whack up the man, the man hours. We're going to whack the man hours and we're all going to be co-responsible. Mm -hmm. And honestly, at this point, we might all be co-coaches. Yeah. I don't care about a head coach system. That, that, that hierarchy... That, that died with Scotty Bowman, in my opinion, mm -hmm. okay? Once Scotty was done, you know, co-coaches, yeah, handle your business, okay? And then we all come together collectively in a room, and we work shit out, like, amongst the coaches as well, mm -hmm. game plans. You don't want this falling on one one man's and when shoulders. You think, when you think about the NFL, think about what a coveted coaching position. It's yeah. not assistant coach. It's, you're the defensive coordinator. You guys laughed That's, at me yesterday. Oh. You laughed at it's me. It's true, though, yeah, right? No, like, totally. it's like in hockey, it's the assistant coach. Yeah. But, you know, the assistant coach, the offensive yeah. coordinator, defensive coordinator, special teams coordinator. I do have one question. Uh, you got a minute left. You got to draw up a play. Who's on the whiteboard drawing up the play? Well, you know, it's like we didn't Could hire be. we didn't hire a Phil Housley to run our power play. We signed the right players to run our power play. So they already know. So we get them. It's not about the, the, the X's and O's. Do you, it's about us getting them ready to get out there. Uh-huh. And and be willing to fucking die. But there's moments in the game where you need to run up, run a play. Sean, That'll he, all you know be worked he out, never, brother. He, okay, he, okay. he never gives us the straight answer. I Can know. you draw up a play? Yeah. yeah, of course. But you know what? If you play the right way, you know. But you could if you had to. Yeah. Okay. You want me to draw up a play? Fine. Uh, I want you on the. All right, guys. Hey, we gotta win this face off. There's three seconds yeah. left. Yeah. yeah, we're going D to D, cross ice through the seam, back up top, and then mm -hmm. we're going back door. Okay, great. How many times does that actually happen? I don't know what you're talking about, but that's times. what I'm saying. I would buy it if I <laughs> It doesn't saying. happen. It doesn't happen. So That's uh, exciting, I, though. I, I just want to say there, there's movement. Mm -hmm. okay. any, any movement from my position as the reviewer of offsides? Um, well, the NHL does that for you now. Yeah, yeah, but, but you, you, still you want the guy up up top. Uh, yeah, yeah. Part of the coaching staff well, to catch the right, uh, offsides. Right. And, and we whatever. have agreed that uh, Cons and I will be co Reviewers. We just want to be in the review box. Uh, We're buying into it, the co thing. Kevin, you will have a title. Uh, you will have a badge. You'll be able to access. You'll be able to do really whatever the fuck you want. Um, All right, Scotty, I'll, I'll be respectful. Yeah, you, you, yeah, we'll, we'll talk. Okay, we'll talk. You know, we might have to have a, a, an experiment where we watch a game, just me and you, mano a mano, in a room. No content. No content, and we really get to the heart of the problem, which is. What do you know and what uh, don't you know? That's fine. I'm, I'm happy to do that. I think you'll be impressed by what you see. From okay. Me. So, uh, I, I'm good. glad that you brought this up because, you know, playoffs is one thing, right? Okay. So first of all, Jake Paul is going bald. That is a, <laughs> a, a, an unmitigated fact. Okay. He's going bald and he grows a comb over. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's fine. I got no problem with that. What he's doing with Nate Diaz right now, they had the press conference yesterday. <laughs> I saw a little bit of it. Yeah. Okay, and Jake pulled out a, a, a monkey that was hitting symbols and said that that was his <laughs> opponent. If you're going to go in on Nate Diaz, you got to go fully in. You have to play psychological warfare and get into this guy's mind. You can't tippy-toe around it because... You know, they pulled a stunt and they had some kid ask a question. Oh, did you see the, this, Scotty? In the uh, audience. Oh, man. It was I, I incredible gotta, what Nate honest, did. I love Nate. Uh, I love Nate. Me too. But that was funny, bro. Oh, That was funny. Okay. He had one of his guys ask him a ridiculous question. Do you question. want me to pause this real quick? Yeah. It, it, it was funny for a second. It was funny, but but you know how funny is it when Nate Diaz will beat, beat up your friend? Well, well, no, not Nate <laughs> Diaz. This is what he said. He stopped the guy and said, yeah. bro, don't leave, man. Uh, honestly, I, I don't want... You're going to walk outside after you ask me this question. What do you think my fucking crew is going to do to you? <laughs> right? Nick yep. Diaz is a black belt from Stockton, California. Okay? He has a crew probably of multiple black belts. There isn't a crew in the entire country of America that you want to fuck with less than Nate Diaz's crew. Okay? Hey, this isn't steal your hat. Let me get it off my chest. He follows me on Instagram.
Nate Ooh. Diaz does. It, it, that was a recent follow too. I remember you, you hit me up. And me, I, uh, dare I say big, I'm boys with yeah. uh, Nate Diaz. That's a oh. big fucking follow. It is. Okay. It's a big follow. And don't if I, honestly, I can't ever remember a time <laughs> uh -huh. where I actually said, "Oh my Whoa. God, look who's following me." I think it's right. probably the first time I've ever done that. I agree. I, very I would get excited about that. Um, actually. Well, Morgan Riley's following me, uh, which is interesting because mm -hmm. I, I haven't been the easiest on Morgan, but that's rather here nor there. Uh, uh, he probably wants. You've to actually been it. rather complimentary of Morgan Riley. I like his game. He's been heavy on the Leafs, yeah. but I, correct. I, I like his game. What I do think Nate Diaz is is a genius because I think, first of all, Nate Diaz he's a boxer. He fights on his feet, but he just happens to be a black belt. If it goes to the ground, it's a great combination for MMA. He is going to he's going to destroy. Jake Paul, because then he wants to fight Logan. Nate wants to do back-to-back, -back, you know, $10 million fights. Put 20 in the bank off two fights in the next six months. He is not going to lose to Jake Paul. <laughs> I promise you. I promise you. If, I go, if he loses, I will go to Stockton with my white belt and walk into the gym and say, run a shark tank on me. <laughs> but but we're, we're all on the same page that Jake Paul is a uh, genius. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it just he just continues to in impress me. He is uh, he's the ultimate entertainer. But I, mean, I don't. I fucking hate all the circus stuff. I hate the circus stuff. The char the charade. The charade. I, I, like game, I, bro. I, I, I I'm, I'm I, not gonna lie. I was yeah. brother. I, was, I, I loved I was it. truly amused. I had. A, I, I was, loved it. I was laughing pretty hard. I yeah. watched all four. And then Nate minutes. got up to take a piss. Right. He left. He left. He left. He just got up and walked out. He got up Here's and left. The thing. I like it. He if... yelled at his own staff because there weren't any regular people in the press conference. You remember? So like influencers or He's whatever. He's like, who are these people? Where's all the regular people? And Jake Paul says, well, you're, you're, you're the A-side. It's your team. It was incredible. I like it if Jake Paul goes into the ring and Nate Diaz smashes his nose into the back of his head. It's going to happen. I disagree. I think that Jake Paul is going to win. This is a boxing fight. This is not MMA. And I, I think there's a long scripted narrative with Jake Paul. He lost the last fight. He's not going to lose again. You, you you think they bought Nate Diaz? Well, Scotty's talking they about it being all a bigger play. On, psyop, um, psyop, I, I bro! Really, uh, come on, if ever it was those psyops, this is major yep. psyops. Happening. He needs a, he needs a win against a big name guy to keep this money bag rolling. There's a ton of companies involved. No, Nate's gonna get can millions he, and millions of dollars. Oh, oh no! I'm not lost. even saying he's gonna take a dive. No I'm question. saying Jake yeah. Paul is a better technical boxer than Nate Diaz you, you are an insane, wild millennial. All okay? right, we'll see. Uh, Jake Paul is getting psyoped by Nate Diaz, who has been in the fight game with uh, dogs. Reverse psyop? You think for the last 20 years, yes. And by the way, Jake Paul knows he doesn't have to win. He just lost a fight to Tommy Fury. Yeah. Okay? Mm. So I, 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 I respect your opinion, but I would like to table it. Okay. Um, well, where, let's. Where would you, you like wanna, to go? Do you guys want to check out this uh, this presser that happened? Um, or do we want to roll right into? Let's yeah, into let's hockey. just go. I, mean, I saw the, we saw the press. Yeah, we saw it. Do Jake, yourself a favor Jake and watch Paul's, it. Jake Paul's awesome, right? What are we talking about here? Mm -hmm. This is crazy. All right. Oh. Um, so before right. we roll into the playoffs, uh, draft lottery last night. The first overall selection like in the Bedard 2023 NHL draft Chicago. belongs to the Chicago Blackhawks. Number two, the Anaheim Ducks. So, and then I saw this. Uh, the so they announced one, then two? Yeah. Um, I guess that's how you do it, right? Right, when yeah. you get down to three, if you're not one, you're two. So yeah, at yeah. least say who got one. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the Ducks, they they should have really got, got, got the first but pick. But why is that? Can I ask what, they, what everybody's up in arms about? I don't know. I haven't well, Chicago, any Chicago was supposed to, to have, I believe, like eleven percent chance to right. get the first pick, and then the Ducks had, I think, like around an eighteen percent. All right. And well, then a the lot Blue of things Jackets can happen what? in an eleven percent. Of, of course, of course. That's why it's right. eleven percent. That's not one percent. It's not a no brainer. But a lot of people were saying that Bettman would never let Chicago get it with all the sexual abuse stuff that went on uh, in the past. Psyop. Psyop. Yeah. Um, but Chicago, like he was going to quietly punish. He was going to quietly punish, punish them. Correct. Because their massage therapist tried to jerk one of their players <laughs> off. Yes. Fifteen years ago. Yes. So they got the number one pick. So what does that do to the theory? I think it squashes the theory. I think it was it was all kosher. You think? It, I agree. Yeah. I mean, eleven percent's a lot. Yeah. I mean, it I is, mean, eighteen percent isn't one hundred percent. It was the biggest market available uh, in terms of the high. The high wait, wait, are you are you are you saying that there was also a psyop on this? 
I or think there could saying, have been a psyop on this. Yeah. Oh, I thought you're saying there's no psyop. No. You're saying it was but, a, I, you're, that it was a legitimate. I'm saying that it was a legitimate draw. It was. Yes, I agree that it was a leg- legitimate draw. I'm saying other people thought that there was a psyop happening right. that Chicago would never have gotten it because of what happened in the past two years. That right. would have been a psyop. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then there was one graphic that the Ducks had the chance to get Crosby back in I think what was it 04. And they missed they missed out on that one obviously, and then they get the chance at Bedard, and they miss out on that one. So too. I mean, so t- when tough break for the Anaheim Ducks. When there's a 20 year gap between like two of your chances, I I, I don't really th- tend to lean into like a psyop. Okay? No, it's not a psyop. It's just shit luck. Listen, he, he people are going crazy. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, people calling, think it is. Yeah, but it's, it's also generational talent. Crosby and Bedard. Uh, well, let's let's see what he does. I'd like to uh, I'd like to just quickly. Uh, Remind everyone that um, if you hate Leaf fans, okay, and you want to pour salt on their wound, book a cameo. Uh, I'll, let's get ahead of it, okay? Even if, if the Leafs win tonight, who knows what's going to happen. But ultimately, I would say if we were dealing in percentages, they're not coming back. So I'd like to get ahead of my workload, mm-hmm. and you're going to book cameos to just destroy oh, so your Leaf book, fans. Okay, so yeah, and right, then they, right, right. they have me just tell their, their buddy, their neighbor, Tommy, <laughs> That he's a loser and that he should go dig a grave in the backyard. For, right. uh, for your business, though, you should hope that the Leafs uh, win a couple games here so you can get more cameos. Well, and hey, by the way, like, subscribe, and share at Ooh. Quick Shift Pod. Yes, sir. Um, all right, we roll into the first game. Vegas at Edmonton. Strong performance by, by Vegas. They go up in the series 2-1 here. Well, very reminiscent of the game that they played in game one. Mm-hmm. You know, when we said that was almost a perfect game. Mm-hmm. Uh, to do it now in Edmonton, listen... I don't know. The Oilers don't have a goalie, okay? Do the Vegas Knights have a goalie? This kid played well. Where is Jonathan Quinn? <laughs> I, yeah, and we, we jump into it in a second here, but he does get hurt. The oh. Vegas goalie gets pulled from the game, an injury, and they bring in their backup. It is not Jonathan Quick. So, so he's not now we're, now He's we're, the third goalie. Now the, the question roster. marks are really flying around. Well, the question is, did Jonathan Quick come down from the press box and, and – and dress because they needed uh, a backup an emergency goalie. goalie? I, I'm not sure. Oh, that would be terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he must have. He's not fourth on the depth chart. Okay. Do we know the status on on Vegas's goalie? We do not. So there's a hurt goalie, but the backup came in and he wasn't he wasn't outstanding, right? Yeah, he still got the win. I believe they only allowed one goal. Okay. Yeah. So he he had a strong performance. In fact, I don't think he let up any goals. Yeah. And listen, March or so, this guy's a streaky kid. Yep. Uh, he gets hot now. Yeah. This gets is the first, monkey off his back. First of the night for him. Uh, I must say, maybe I've potentially been sleeping a little bit on Vegas. Yeah. Likewise. Wait, so you're switching teams. No, now? I'm not switching yeah. teams. I, I, that's uh, what I'm saying. I really think that Edmonton just doesn't know way they lose this series. Yeah. But you know that said. And here's the injury right here. Okay. Hill. I don't know who Hill is. Uh, Hill Hill used to play for Phoenix, and then I believe he went up to San Jose and then over to Vegas. Bit of a journeyman. Bit of a journeyman. Of a journeyman. And he also played really well in Arizona. Oh, wow. He mm-hmm. looks hurt. This guy looks hurt. Yeah. For real. You don't flop around like that. You but know? Just going back to, to quick. Uh, w- w- where is he? Uh, that's what I'm saying. I'm sure there's an answer to it. We just don't know it, right? I mean, in other, I mean, it's available. Yeah, probably well, has, some a real insider would know. Would know. Well, yeah, Maybe an it, insider, a real fan, Michael Larman would know. Well, well, oh, well, oh. Okay. yeah, at ringside, <laughs> yeah. who knows? Yeah. I, we got to check in on that. Yep. But but uh, I'll tell you, why hasn't the media asked this question? Mm-hmm. Why Maybe is the they media have. asked this question? <laughs> yeah. Maybe they have. I mean, if there's any Vegas Knights fans uh, in the comments section, maybe let us know why Quickie is not on the bench. Or Mark, why he's Mark not Stone's look knob. Here. Look at Mark Stone's knob. He has one of the cushiest knobs. So oh I'll my tell you, God. That's a big knob. Big knob, yeah? <laughs> Whoa. So what he does is he wraps the, um, wow. it's like the spongy tape that you would wrap yep. uh, around the, the like body. Like a putting handle? It's like a, one of the. It's a self. Like a big... It's a DIY uh, putting <laughs> handle that he uses. Right. The spongy tape under underneath, and he gets it nice. So he squeezes that thing, and it compresses. It's a squishy, it's a squishy, squishy tape, knob. Yeah. What is the advantage there? Well, some guys just, just want to feel that they want that stick bigger in their hands. Yeah. You Are there I mean? rules against uh, at a certain point? They're like, all right, enough with the tape. I believe there is not. I no. don't think so. Yeah. No. Um, Jackie there, had a big however, game. There is a uh, yeah. Eichel had a great game. There is a rule for the goalies though. No. 
Um, uh, their well, knob can't be. Yes, there is a rule for the size of how big a goalie yeah. knob can be. Yeah. Right, but I mean, what they? I mean, when you look at the goalie equipment now compared to what it was, <laughs> yeah. right? It's what are they? Crazy. They're, yeah, like, they're what, worried about the knob, yeah. right? I mean, Jesus, look at the size of the pads on these guys. You know, Eichel, like Eichel, does a does. little bit what Mc, Mc, McDavid does, but a, at a lower speed. Mm -hmm. Like Eichel is very, God, he's so shifty. Yeah. This kid's going to be a big time fucking player. And he's feeling himself. Yeah. Big time. Yeah. yeah. This is the best thing for Vegas long term because uh, he's back. This is really his first healthy playoff. Mm -hmm. But he's man, back. he's shifty and he's yeah, got this movement to him. He's it's, got this wide base and he kind of yeah. just like C cuts around. Yes. C also, cuts. Nice. He's yeah, got, thanks. he's got, I'll a, give you the C cut. Thanks, he's, buddy. he's got the edge too. He's, he's got, got the, the edge. eye of the tiger. Yeah. yeah. He's got a little dog in him. And we'll, we'll tiger. see it in a second here. He's a good separator on the celly. Oh yeah, I, I like mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I I also it's a great way to round out the game. I mean, totally get a little separation. Totally. Nick Diaz, Are we see it? Yeah, we'll see it. Nick and Nate Diaz, they must be Entourage fans. Um, they must have watched Entourage. Yeah, that was I've, their era. I, I've met the, I've met them a couple times. Oh, you have? Yeah. Oh, so there's. Oh, okay. I mean, uh, if, if you're a man, oh, this you like Entourage. No, oh, that's true. Look at this. Look at that. Boom, boom. Ooh. Hell of a shot, and look at the separation a little bit here. Let's see if we can get the camera angle. Ooh, and but, and look, he got way away. Yeah. He took like a big, yeah. and and, and he kind of well, he eye fucked the crowd. He, it, well, he eye fucks the crowd, but he also kind of lifts the leg and gives them the old little jockey pump. Oh, uh, or like I'm gonna pee on a fire hydrant. He, there you go. That's exactly what I was here. Right? Oh, little whizinator, little whizzy, <laughs> little whizzy. Oh, wow. that is smooth. Yeah, was... Kachuk still has the best separation and of a playoff winner so far. Yeah. So far, mm, yeah. I mean, he took like three extra strides and yeah, might have even flat waved a couple guys off <laughs> he did uh by the way i've got a lot of dms from people that uh jack hughes was spotted in manhattan with two blondes really in yeah. manhattan yeah minetta tavern oh wow oh you got the you jeez yeah. uh pivoting over to new, <laughs> new jersey carolina <laughs> such a tough reservation <laughs> is it a tough reservation minetta yeah it's not easy um, good start for, for the Devils when you get Hughes on the board first, makes it one nothing, and then it's all Hurricanes. He's rolling right the fuck in wherever he wants to go, bro. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, the kid What are you is, talking about? Yeah, well, I'm, hey, I, I'm just saying, even even so, it's not a big room. Yeah. New York is sports knowledgeable, Hughes, bro. Hughes Jack, also, Hughes is a, Jack Hughes is doing just fine out Hughes there. Hughes lives right in now. Hoboken. Happy to report it's a quick it's a quick train ride. You're in the city and in, yep. in, in the West Village in five minutes. And Sean, We've talked about it a little bit, but you kind of have to, right? Like, you can't play for the Devils and live in New York. No, right? no, Almost no, like a yeah. principle. no, Hoboken. It's so easy. Yeah, you know, that's like you know, bridge and tunnel, but it's 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 not that far anymore. But I'm saying, like, it's disrespectful to the team as well, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, you you wouldn't want to. I think, although PK Subban lived in New York City, did he? I believe he did. Yeah. I believe he did. He, he goes by the beat of his own drum, though, yeah. I was going to say, but, but here's the pretty much does whatever yeah. he wants. See, here's the funny thing. If PK played for Jersey when I played for New York and PK lived in New York, it would be a waste of time because I would have him blackballed from every single place in New York City. <laughs> they were dominating so hard, you would have just had him not He would have been... No it, bungalow away for PK? Aren't, aren't, aren't you guys boys? He, yeah, but but and, but that's got but one, one thing has nothing to do with affairs is in, in love and sport. Fair, I mean, okay. I, listen, what yeah. do you want me to do? But he would, and he might disagree. Uh -huh. He he doesn't really understand. Yes, PK would not be able to go anywhere <laughs> except Times Square. I would let him say, I would say Times Square <laughs> is all yours, like, brother. Yeah. <laughs> you can do whatever you want in Times Square. You can go to the cheesecake factory in Times Square. That's uh, all of Garden. Right. Send him out the, the busiest Olive Garden in America. <laughs> Yeah, unlimited salad and <laughs> pasta. Um, but what do you guys think? Uh, it seems like this is, uh, yeah, this a is death over. blow death blow for New Jersey here. I, I'd like to see them push it just for the experience yeah. a little bit, but I don't think Carolina's going to lose this yeah. series. Who is scoring all these goals? Well, we see three goals in about a right. two and a half, three minute span here, and it really just who, buried But who, Jersey, score, yeah. who is scoring all these goals? I don't know. Nietzsche. Uh, uh, is Aho scoring? I, haven't, I, haven't, Aho, I don't think Aho got, he got one, one here. Um, Ma uh, that Stall Stahl had one, I believe. I'll tell you that Martinuk. Martinuk yeah, guy's a defenseman. He's always in front of the net. Yeah, he's always moving. Uh, what we're seeing from Carolina is a little bit like the Muckers. So they just have an even attack on all four lines going you, here. You know, uh, they remind me of the 2002 team that went to the Stanley Cup final against Detroit. Mm -hmm. um, they Arthur Zerbe, like they had. You know, Ian Cole. Yeah. Remember Cole? He could yeah. really wind it up. 
they had that type of team. Yeah, you see Burns getting on the on the score sheet here. Yeah, I was gonna say somebody's getting on the score sheet. Yeah. Um, but uh yeah, well and Schmied. What a what a bad last name. <laughs> Who knows though? Hey, it, Devil's playing with house money too. Who knows? Right. Loose as a goose. Loose right. as a goose. And you know, kids and 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 Husey, like Luke, yeah. you know, Luke I guess that was his first playoff road game or was this at home no this was at home all right well mm. all right they got to get it going look at that look at that oh, arena though yeah, it's already left. empty they left they left come pretty on quick. i also there was a clip of uh devil's fans walking out crying i saw that yeah that's intense yeah that's a little much you don't roll over and die yet the yeah. fat lady has not sung yeah. but even if it had mm-hmm. it probably don't cry be, don't be crying <laughs> yeah, you know, right. pull it together right at least wait until was it the, an until adult uber was it an adult? oh they were adults they were yeah. adults yeah yeah All they right. could vote uh muckers and my dallas stars jamie ben starts scoring off here yeah so that <laughs> oh, scotty's just dying to run them out of the series <laughs> <laughs> no i want the stars, talk about a psyop bro. Bro. I, want, I want the stars you are not you do yeah. not have the hot yeah. hand i'll tell right you though now, that ben that ben if you quick if you try Scotty. that 15 years ago you're dead that's how different the game is. Yeah, right there. Seattle, yeah. Seattle Kraken Carolina Panthers final. Could you imagine? Ooh, that tough. would not be Gary the most Bettman, uh, would be exciting. That uh, one he would run aside. I mean, at on, least right. Jersey when they were winning with the trap in the in the nineties, early two thousands, they still had a team full of superstars. Jason Arnett, Sakura. Yeah, but there's a storyline. Uh, yeah. Need need them are, yeah. Well, what this? If eh, the Kraken, you know, they're uh-huh. you know I can't what they're what? just so mucky. They're mucky. They're mucky. Uh, yeah, they're, they they don't really look at this Max Domi. Yeah. How about that pass? I mean, they were hand picked from based on their professional careers. Dude, that's maybe Sagan? that's not maybe that maybe that's Segway. not a fair way to do it. That Sagan pass? What fair way to do what? To where you you know you, you protect you guys anyone. and you can take who you want. Yeah. I mean, that, this is this is why. Like, well, good, no, don't, a lot of these players make money, right? These guys, a lot of these guys yeah, have but, decent I mean, contracts. It's, it's a smart move by the Kraken. They really didn't go out and try to get the biggest names they could. They just have four balanced lines, and right. they all just roll and they roll and they roll and they muck. Like Eberly makes money. Wow, that yeah. Max Domi had a hell of a game. So yeah, again, Eagles. I'll say to this, you know. One of the reasons Kyle Dubas should lose his job mm. is because he didn't go out and get Max Domi. Yep. Max Domi, lineage, DNA, legend in Toronto. Well, that, Look that, at this yeah. goal this kid scores. I mean, he is back, boy. Yeah, He I, is back. Look at this head up, confident, mm-hmm. shelf mm-hmm. or Rooney, Ben. Look at that screen. Yeah, that's a hell of a goal. Hell of a goal. I do miss seeing uh, Domi in the sixteen jersey. He's a he's a good uh, ambassador for sixteen. Uh, I think he he wears it well. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so this is tied two two. This is going seven, gentlemen. Seven eleven for the stars. Hey, yep. they got seven oh. eleven. Yep. There that's we go. A good that's a good one. Yeah. I'll take that. Yeah. He's also a uh, QSP fan. Fo- follows the socials at Quick Shift Pod. Okay. Yeah. So uh, like, right. well, give him hell. Give him hell. The rest of the subscribe. season. Yeah. Yep. Share. Yeah. I'll fire a little DM off to him. Um, nice, <laughs> Scotty. You, uh, you're all right. You're all right. So what the? F- what does that mean? <laughs> what do you mean I'm all right? <laughs> what? That's it. All right. Uh, episode twenty-six. Martin Saint Louis.